Okay, so this week, today, we're going to put the snow on this part, all of the snow and all of the reflection with the details. And also we're going to put this part, which has a bit of yellow ochre in here, some kind of uh, um, yellow, you know, kind of earthy yellow in the back, all of this part, and maybe something in here in the in the back before we put the tree. So we're doing everything in the background before we start putting the trees on. And that's what we're going to do. All right, so for that, I have here all of the colors that I used last week. Um, I have yellow ochre. I didn't use that like last week, but this week we're using yellow ochre, white, raw umber, uh, Naples, no, sorry, uh, not Naples, uh, uh, Payne's gray and ultra, Payne's gray and ultramarine violet. So this is ultramarine violet right there and Payne's gray. If you don't have ultramarine violet, anything, any, any purple is fine. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to start with this part where there is a kind of a hint of um, yellow ochre in there. This is kind of, of uh, it's not, it's very uh, loose. It's very kind of, uh, it's a suggestion in there. So the best thing to do is to use a dry brush or something like this. And I'll show you how to do this. So we're gonna take yellow ochre and I would put a little bit, tiny bit of raw umber in it. It's better if you don't put your brush in water, just a dry, dry brush, any brush. And I think any brush that you could, any size that you could control I have this one here, and all I'm doing is I'm putting dry dry paint on it. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my dry brush, and I'm gonna just go like this. Actually, you know what? Let's put a bit of white, because this is gonna dry darker, and I don't want it to be strong. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of white to my now it's if if you can't you know mix the paint with the corner of your brush just dip your brush in a bit of water wipe a bit and that will kind of here that's good that making my color move or my paint move on that on the uh palette now I'm just dabbing, dab in different directions. This yellow is is very nice there in this uh, because everything is cool colors in here. All of the colors we're using are cool. Now I'm gonna take ultramarine violet and I'm gonna do the same. Oh, sorry. Let's put a little bit of white in here. I did not clean my brush from the yellow, so the yellow ochre that I'm using, I mixed ultramarine violet with white with this using the same brush I've been using for the yellow. And the reason I've done this, I'm, I'm doing this is just because the yellow is going to tone down the ultramarine violet and make it more earthy because they're opposite each other on the color wheel. Don't worry if you get any colors or any dabbing or any brush strokes that you don't like. It doesn't matter. I don't like this. It doesn't matter. I will fix it in a minute. All I'm doing is I'm looking at the colors that I'm seeing in the reference. I'm not really 
concerned about I'm just I'm just seeing where the yellow where I see the yellow I'm just looking at the yellow now I'm cleaning my brush wipe it and then I'm going to get a little bit of ultramarine violet but white a little bit of Bean's gray. And I'm going to go over this because that I don't like this. A little bit more white because it's going to dry darker. Okay, good. Corner of my brush, I picked up some yellow ochre. I'm going to put it in. This is really, it, it, it's not the focal point. So I, I'm not kind of worried. It's just color in there. That yellow color gives it a bit of warmth. Okay. Now, I take a small round brush. Okay. And I'm going to dip my brush in paint in water um, let's take raw amber make your color the paint a bit kind of watery ultramarine violet Like a, it's like watercolor. The, it's runny. My paint is runny. So at this point, I'm going to come here and put a hint of a tree in the back. Some branches. I will pause in a minute. I'm just going to finish this part and then I'll pause. Right. I'm using white with, at this point, white with Payne's Gray. And I'm going to go in, open up a bit some areas because that's you know when I was dabbing I was dabbing everywhere but it, it's nice to see a bit of kind of I'm just opening up between the the, the leaves the dabbing or those dabs that I put in there I'm just adding a little bit of white on the edge just it's negative painting. All right. This is working. It's good. You know, sometimes, yeah, you know, sometimes it doesn't work. You think it's working, but it doesn't. But this one is working. Good. Excellent. We don't, we don't want to put too much. Right, a critic is so, it dries dark, harsh. So I'm gonna let it dry. And if I find that it's too much, then I would just glaze it and push it back. Um, but I think it should be okay. Um, what I would like to do is um, put some snow on this eventually. But first I'm gonna put the tree in front of it and then I will add the snow. I'm gonna pause. Okay. 
Now, let's put that little bush right there. There's a little bush in here. Um, it's You're welcome to put it if you like, or no, not put it. Doesn't matter. But it just kind of cuts that bridge a bit. It softens this area here. So this little bush in there, we could do it in two ways. We could use this brush, the, the bright brush or flat or fan brush. But I would use a small fan brush. Don't use a big one. It's easier to control. That's the one here. That's the, that little thing here, right there. So I can take uh, this point, white. And ultramarine. Violet or any purple. And to tone down all of these, this bright color, I'm going to take a little bit from amber. Again, this is a um, dry brush kind of thing. So I wipe my brush a bit. And with the bright brush, gently, I'm going to do kind of a movement like this. I don't want to do the whole thing, but with the corner of my brush, all I'm doing is I'm just going over, skimming over the the um, canvas softly. Don't don't push. Just just skim over it in different directions. This is with this brush. If I want to use a fan brush, I have to be, I have to do this again, just add a bit of more color. Maybe I'll do another one on the other side so you can see it. And again, with the corner of my brush, I'm going to do one here. So you can see it. the corner of my brush. Very easy, very simple. I'm going to do this again. Just to show you, you don't have to cover yours. You don't have to cover yours, just to show you, because this is right here is against, it's on a light background. It's hard to see, but this one is going to be on a dark background. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for this to dry. Meanwhile, I'm going to take white, lots of white, lots and lots of white. And I'm going to put Payne's Gray in it.
This is going to dry darker. While I'm waiting for the for this part to dry, I'm just gonna put snow. It's just for fun, take a bit of ultramarine violet, put it in as well, and just bring this down here And let's do the same thing on the other side. Reflection. Reflection of the snow. And put a bit of snow in here. Starting to take shape. All right, I'll put the snow in here as well. I changed the shape of the snow in this part here. I actually cut it. I didn't like this, especially because it's close to us. It just uh, kind of, it will take over. It will take uh, away from the focal point. I like, I just trimmed this part and just throw snow in here. So for the snow, we have white and paints gray, sometimes a little bit of and a little bit of uh, ultramarine violet. Perfect, nice. Okay. This is dry, so I can use my pen brush. It's not um, in the reference, it's not yellow. I'm just putting a bit of yellow in there. Instead, what I did before is I used um, raw umber, ultramarine, violet, and white. This time I'm just putting a tiny bit of yellow in there so you can see it. That's because it's easier to see. And um, yeah, uh, uh, yellow ochre, white, and a bit of raw umber. Wipe my brush and then Sorry, needs water. It's 
perfect. It gives this kind of um, organic, wild kind of brush stroke. It's really, really nice. Perfect. Let's do this one. I like that. Let's take a bit of ultramarine. Ultramarine violet. Put it with white. And do the same in this area. A little bit more. White, ultramarine, violet. And with the corner of my brush, I'm just gonna add some couple of wild kind of brush strokes in here. It's like stubborn little grass coming out. I can redo this once I highlight the snow. I'm just putting randomly some brush strokes. I'll give you some time to do this and here and then we'll come back and the snow and then we'll come back and highlight the snow. All right, so now let's paint. This is again, paints gray, ultramarine violet, white and raw umber. Raw umber is right here. I'll do it this way so you can see the colors all the time. I'll put it this way. So let's take white, a bit of paints gray, Actually, more than a bit. And a little bit of raw umber. That makes my paints, paints gray more earthy. Because the one I'm using is blue, which is perfect for snow. But it's not earthy. So if you put a bit of... Um, raw umber in it, it becomes much nicer. It's more earthy. So I'm going to start with this here, this part. A little bit more raw umber. And more of the paints gray. I didn't want to use paints gray by itself. It's a bit too harsh, uh, too dark. So that's why I added the white to it, just to kind of make it grayer and let's go like that with a small round brush and i need to remove a bit of paint here we go You know, no matter if I make a mistake, it doesn't matter. I get, of course, I'm going to be going over that, over this with white. The lines shouldn't be exactly the same. Those lines shouldn't be exactly the same. That's why I'm putting them right now before I highlight the snow, because I can take advantage of highlighting the snow and soften anything that needs to be softened. The, all right, now here. So some areas of these lines could be a little bit stronger, wider, narrower. It's not all the same. And I really don't have to copy exactly what I'm seeing in there, but as long as it looks soft, not too harsh.
So this is the first one. Let's do the second one. Second one, it's gonna be here. And the third one, put some water in here, wipe my brush, and let's go in here. Sometimes I ignore some details. So if you're looking at this and you see this little patch in here and it's reflected in here, I'm ignoring this. It's just, it's no need, need, there's no need to put everything you see. Now, take my white. Uh, let's take a medium size so we can control. Flat brush or bright. Take white. A little bit of paints gray. Mix it. Mixy mixy everything. And wipe. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to do the reflection. Again, a little bit of that white, the white I'm using with paints gray. Down, using a down kind of uh, brush stroke this way, down. And then, and then I take my brush and I do this. like a dry brush. While this is drying a bit, I'm gonna take my yellow ochre again a little bit of the raw umber and ultramarine violet and lots of white. Let's put a bit of ultramarine violet in here, more. Yeah, more. All right, that's a good color. That's perfect. And come here in in the reflection in the actual reference. There's a darker reflection in there in the water from what's what's whatever is happening in here. Now we can, but I think I think the best thing first to do is to do the reflection of that tree that I put in there, and then I'm gonna play around with the colors. So a bit of that. yellow and my 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 color is actually um a, a 
glaze. It's more like it has a lot of water in it. Now, I'm going to take the same, because reflections change. It's not the same color in there. That's why I'm trying to do, I'm trying to change the reflection. This little thing that I uh, mixed before for the reflection of the snow, which is uh, Payne's gray, a little bit of uh, raw umber and white. I'm going to take that and I'm going to go a little bit darker with Payne's gray. Raw umber, touch of raw umber, not much. And make it watery. And then I'm going to come here and then again, same. This is all going to be covered after with um, blue over it, reflection over it. Acrylic is very tricky, especially when you're doing reflection and stuff like that. So be patient, back and forth. Um, try to use, when you're doing reflection, water, more of the um, glazing technique. Don't do, don't go don't be tempted to use heavy paint. This is with a little bit of the same yellow ochre mixed with um, raw umber and white, and I'm just slowly mixing and blending softly some of these colors in the reflection with the corner of my brush. Trying to get rid of any harsh brush stroke that's, you know, with acrylics happens. Right. Especially because acrylic dries harsh. So, all right, we're going to go over that with some light blue later on. So I'm not worried about this. This is awesome. This is good. Working very well. I'm going to add a bit of white in here in my grayish, bluish mixture. And I'm going to come here. And soften. Let's take now a bit of 
paints gray, put some white in it. Water is all about reflections and transparency. So transparency comes from using uh, paint that is not thick, glaze. We're going to go over with some blues and it will change that kind of mucky combination of colors that I have here. So let's let, let this uh, leave it to dry and I'm going to come here, take white, lots of white, push it into that um, grayish color that I have here, which is paints gray mixed with a bit of um, raw umber and lots of white. And I'm going to come here and then with the brush. This is not just white. This is white mixed with paints gray. Push that blue or light color down. If you see some of the yellow, uh, yellow, the blues uh, that were done after, bef be before, sorry, they were here before, like this dark blue, showing through the white that you're putting on top, because the white I'm putting on top is not 100% white. It has a bit of uh, paints gray in it as well. Um, don't try to cover it. You know, don't try to make the white look too white, too perfect. It's not. That's good. All right, let's come here. Do the same. And I'll start from here. <laughs> and over here there is less white so um, I'm going to put more of the paints gray and I'm going to go over in this corner mostly in this corner this corner and now I'm going to add more white and then highlight this. Now, see that 
line that I have. Get a smaller brush. This one. With the corner of my brush, I'm gonna blend. And it's blending because both colors are wet. The dark blue and the light blue that I'm putting in here, they're wet. So it blends easily. Good. white and paints gray. That's a lot of white. Let's tone, tone down this white a bit with paints gray. Good. Let's take a break. All right, so now all of this, these reflections I put before are dry and they need to be softened. Um, so I am going to use white and paints gray. And I'm going to clean up a bit all of this because we still have some more reflection to do and to put in there. I don't want to make it muddy and busy. So I'm going to soften all this. I'm going to use just very simple white and paints gray with a wide, big brush. And I'm going to do a uh, kind of... I don't want it to be too too light. Wow. And it's a, my 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 paint is not heavy, so I'm putting quite a bit of water in there. Not very a lot of water, but enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to kind of go over some areas and I will go again and put some reflections again. So what I'm doing right now is I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning up and look, already it looks much better. You know, sometimes you put um, paint, like um, you use acrylics and then once it's dry, it changes on you. It's like harsh, dull. Um, strong um, so you need to go in always and adjust this is perfect some areas I'm going to put a bit of more white in there and some areas I'm going to keep darker keep it darker all right good good all right let's do that down and then I'm going to go across over. Let's take a little bit of my, more white in this blue, tiny bit, but really it helps a lot having uh, using the uh, soft um, glaze instead of heavy paint. 
because you can go over it so many times and you'll have beautiful reflections. A little bit more white in my blue, like this. I'm not trying to uh, to use the same reflections or just to, to to copy the same reflections um, or the same um, movements in there or you know what I see in there. I'm trying to show a grayish day of snow that's awesome that's good simplify what you see helps to simplify things All right, let's go back and add a tiny bit of lighter reflection here with the corner of my brush. Technically, I should be changing my brush right now, getting into a, a smaller one, but let's see if I can get away with it without changing the brush. This corner of my brush, and go in.
Now I'm going to take again some white and pins gray, and I'm going to go in. with some more of the paints gray in my white. So I'm darkening my paints gray a bit, my white, sorry, a bit. And adjusting these reflections or this these brush strokes in here. See now, when you when you're doing something like this, like reflections and um, water, and um, you really want your paint to be um, watery, transparent, um, um, glaze, not heavy paint. Okay, I can't stop. I'm having fun. <laughs> no. Can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, can't stop. Come on. That's good. Yes, experiment. Put some brush strokes, remove them, add that more. <laughs> Yeah. That's just to confuse you. It doesn't take much to confuse me. <laughs> no, me either. This is like what it's like you should say to me, okay, okay, what do you want us to do now? You're going back and forth, back and forth. Like just just you know um good. It's good. stop. No, it's we good. just want it to be perfect, right? Oh, it's just fun. It's fun. Oh my god, I can't stop. Sheesh. Okay. All right, Leah, I'll stop. One more. <laughs> All right, that's that's good. We're gonna have some more reflections coming later on when we we put the reflection of the trees. Because they're going to be big. It's going to be like quite heavy in here and here. And then after we go in, put a bit of reflection here and there. And then we will spray snow on. All right. Okay, so with a small brush, I mixed white and paints gray. And I'm going to go over this here a little bit harsh. Soften this a bit. You know, just make some lines, some of that hard, these harsh lines, um, softer, smaller in certain areas, wider in other areas. So in over here, let's take a bit of white and then just go over. And highlight this part a bit. That creates a, a different level. More white. Maybe highlight some of the um, higher parts a little bit with white, small brush, just go over it and then
mix or spread that the color. Now that the paint is dry, so I know where where the uh, darks and lights should be. There. Let's highlight this reflection as well. And I'm going to take a little bit of white and paints gray. And I'm just going to just give this highlight, the reflection, a softer edge at the bottom. Because you don't want it to look like it's, uh, it's, an, like it's another, um, it, it, it needs to look like a reflection. That's what I'm trying to do here. Um, don't want it to look like a, part of the uh, snow. Okay. Good. Done. Right, so this is where we're at for this week. Next week, there won't be a class, but we will continue after, after uh, the week after. Happy painting.